Here we are for our next quilt project already, and this is one that I've got to get done before September. Little did I know that it was gonna have that specific of a deadline. But back in April, my sister had her baby, and I didn't have a quilt for her at that point. And then I ended up doing the Cherish quilt and making a second duplicate of it and giving that to her with the intention of still making her a quilt and going, okay, when they're here next, I will have a quilt for her. So then I don't have to ship it, I can give it to her in person, and all will be well. And it turns out that date's coming up soon because they will be here in September, and I wanna get this quilt done for them. So the quilt that I'm doing is the Here Kitty Kitty Moda Quilt by Stacy. Okay. I'm gonna butcher her name, so I will link it in the description. Stacy's a motor designer that I've seen a lot from, from her Woof Woof, Woof Woof Meow Meow collection. That's, I've had this pattern for a little while. It reminded me a lot of the Elizabeth Hartman style and I thought this would be a cute, fun little project to try something new and get a cute baby quilt. So as far as the fabric pull, it has a bunch of different fabrics that it suggests, 18 different fabrics it looks like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search my stash, see what I can find. A lot of it is like quarter yard, eighth yard, those size cuts. So I'm gonna see what I can find and then go from there. I have an idea of some cute ones that I've seen at the shop that I want to include. So either I'll start with those and then pick my color away from there or vice versa. This one's got four different colors basically. It's got yellow, aqua, pink, and like a ivory color for kitties so and they're all kind of mismatched so we'll see what I can find so we are going to start with the the here kitty kitty quilt it's time to show you my fabric pull I had gone into this with a different fabric starting point in mind and then the day before I did my fabric pull I walked down one aisle of the shop saw a line of fabric and I was like that's where I want to start so my starting point was actually some of the blenders and coordinates for the Riley Blake Unicorn Kingdom fabric. And so I started with those. Those created instead of this, instead of this yellow, pink, and blue, or tealish, I'm going with pink, purple, and aqua-ish. Those were my starting points. So I'm gonna show you each one by each color chunk instead of this fabric line and that fabric line. If I can remember which one the fabric line is when it comes up, I will let you know so then you can shop for some yourself if you like it. First are my pinks, and we're gonna start off with some good old pink grunge. I wanna say this is raspberry, because that's like my go-to grunge color for pink. So I'm pretty sure this is raspberry. I can double check it at some point, but if you know me by now, you know I love my grunge. And then the next one, this is one of the Unicorn Kingdoms stars, shooting stars and the floral with the white background and the floral with the hot pink background and then this one's a little metallic white with metallic dots in there and then this one is a gingham play by michael miller i'm not sure exactly which color maybe carnation but there's the pinks and then for the purples we've got a purple grunge because why have just one grunge when you can have two this one is a Riley Blake it's not Unicorn Kingdom it's a different one that just came out let me see if the salvage is on here nope it just got cut off so that one is another Riley Blake one I know that much this one is one of my favorite blenders that I have yet to use this is the Andover Very Hungry Caterpillar Scribbles and then we've got some Unicorn Kingdom, the purple flowers, purple shooting stars. This one is, this is either Lewis and Irene, or yes, this is Lewis and Irene rainbows. So there's a rainbow line, those cute dots to go with that. And then this one, this was another one we had on our color wall. And another thing that I like is triangles. So. Why not throw some triangles in there? And then the last set is the aqua. So we've got the shooting stars. 
the polka dots. This one is Andover Freckle, Freckle Dots. This one's another Andover Blender, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember what that one's called. This one is another Michael Miller Gingham Play. The color might be Luna on this one. And then this one's a Rapture that's a QT fabric. Notice there was no grunge in that set. Unfortunately, the grunges that we have just weren't the right colorway. They were either too blue or too green for my bundle here, which is what I kept running into with pulling that one. I thought that was going to be the easy one. So all, to so all together, here are my fabrics. Super cute. And I'm going to do a Kona white for my backing, because my background, because I thought I had enough of it. But then I remembered when I cut my, my whales, I had to cut some things by length of fabric. So I may have to do some investigating and hope that we have some Kona white at the shop still. I may have to do some investigating and hope that we have, I think it was like a yard and a half. Yeah, a yard and a half of Kona white. Because I think any other color just won't have those kitty colors pop. So I'll get started with that set. I'll get started with that set and see how much they can cut out of that and then go from there. Let's get fabric chopping. So my camera died on me while cutting, but all my pieces are all cut and ready to go. The only thing I still need to cut is the eyes because it wanted me to cut eyes from the fabric, but I couldn't bring myself to have pink eyed kittens. That seemed a little bizarre. So I'm going to find some either black Kona or some black grunge in my stash to use to do all the eyes for the kittens. Some of my measurements were apparently really off. Like I was supposed to only have one eighth of one fabric, but I got five eighths of it. I don't know where my math came from, but they're all gonna have, to bring the grunge in, they're gonna all have little pink noses. So I love myself pink nose kittens. So all these kittens are gonna have pink noses to go with the purple and the teal and the pink. 
So I'm gonna make some eyes, I'm gonna get some background fabric, and we're gonna get packed to cutting. I went ahead and cut all my white and my brown pieces just I went ahead and cut all my black for my eyeballs and my white pieces just so then you get to see a little bit more than just cutting this video so now I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling my first cat head Kitty block number one is done. Now I've got 15 more kittens to make before we start making a gold top. So I'm gonna get back at it and check in when this, this little purple kitty has 15 more friends. Here we are at the end of this sewing day and now all our blocks are done. 16 kitten blocks all done, ready to become a gold top. So next time we'll see if I like the layout that the pattern suggests or if because of my color choices and how they spread out if I need to rearrange any of them before turning them into a gold top. So let's take a look at them all individually one more time before calling it a day. <laughs> 